Hello, Destiny, Ann, Mer, Megan. Hey. Thanks for being with us today. We want to hear more about your upcoming recital. Yes. When I was in school, we took the who, what, when, where, why approach when we had no idea what to do. <laughs> so, did you do that? I did. Will you tell us who is performing first? Yes. Yours truly, I am performing, and uh, the pianist I'm performing with is Tatiana Tessman. She's amazing. I'm so glad I found her. She lives in Lawrence right now. She has performed with Rostropovich. Wow. She's prize winning. She's been all over the world. She's a superstar. So, wow. yeah, I'm in for a retreat. Great treat, deal. And so Great is everyone deal. else. Oh, and there's two youth because the adults can't have all the fun. Tell us about yes. them. So I love to give youth performance opportunities, and uh, especially on my recital. Um, because like I said, adults can't have all the fun. So <laughs> one of the pieces that I'm doing from my album, Bach to Barnburners, is based on a folk tune. And I'm having the two kids come out and play the folk tune to introduce the piece. And one is a pianist, Victoria. She's super, super cute. And the other is a violinist, Reagan. So you'll love it. They'll wow. steal the show. What an opportunity you. for them. Did people yeah. give you opportunities like that when you were a kid? A little. Yeah, little bit. Yeah. yeah, well, not, that's... Not these good. We're excited. <laughs> okay, okay. Tell us what is on the recital. Tell awesome the music. Rest. Yeah. So uh, first, it's Beethoven and Brahms. And if, if you see on the flyer, it says Beethoven and Brahms and Bach to Barn Murders. So um, I'm opening with some Bach from my album. And then we're going to be doing Beethoven's fourth sonata in A minor. And that's a super cool sonata because it's the one where Beethoven starts to break all the rules in sonatas. Uh, his first two were very classical, and this one is kind of dark and angsty and turbulent, and it's amazing. Mm. Um, and then I'm pairing that with a very joyful sonata, so Brahms, who we all love, his second sonata is very joyful and lyrical and just very powerful in its simplicity, uh, even though it's probably technically the most challenging for violin and piano. And then, like I said, the folk tune is Arkansas Traveler and Banjo Tune from my album, and then if people clap, <laughs> Maybe Oblivion as an encore by Piazzolla. All right. And we, while we're talking about the what, there's a reception, I understand. What will be served at the reception? Do oh, you that know? was the what. I, I, <laughs> I went out of the order of operation. No, no, that's good. Yes, that was the what. There will be a reception, and I will be there, and I would love to. I actually like talking to the audience, so. That's wonderful. Please come say hi to me. I will so. talk to you during the concert, too. It's not just like a typical concert. It's very engaging, and you'll... Uh, Maybe even have some audience participation. Ooh, okay. When is all of this? Friday, March 18th at 7.30 p.m. This Friday? This Friday. Okay. This coming Friday. And who, what, when, when where? When, why, where, when, where? Oh, Let's Village where. Village Presbyterian Church, here. And which space? Will it be in the chapel? The sanctuary. Or the, the sanctuary. This sanctuary, yep. Okay, why? Well, I could take five minutes to answer that question, but I'll make it brief. I think, without sounding too cliche, classical music is really the one thing that can bring about peace and harmony in the world because it's something that we all can understand. It's a language, music in general is a language that we can all understand. And, you know, when you, when you, when you have arts, when you listen to arts, when you come and do a recital and you're in a space, you can forget about the world and the tragedies that are around you for just a brief moment. And mm. um, to me personally, being able to perform music and play music, uh, it's, I can always feel however I want to feel. And it's my own special moment, if that makes sense. You know, when you play music, you can feel what you're feeling, or if you're listening to music, you can feel what you're feeling. And that's just you and yourself and your own, and you don't have to worry about what anyone else thinks. So it's a gift to give and get as well. Wow. Thank you for the gift of having this to look forward to. Yeah. Thanks for the chance to talk today. Mm -hmm. And we thank you in, in advance for a great recital for people of all ages, right? Yeah. Everyone okay. can come. Okay. Well, thank you, Destiny. Thank and we you. will see you this Friday at 7.30 p.m. Sounds good. Thanks.